So I'd like to provide a quick tutorial on how to add a Cisco ASA firewall into your GNS3 network simulator. Um, I've done this video tutorial once before, but since my machine is better now, I'd like to provide a faster uh, walkthrough of the process. So um, as before, I had a link to the files you'll need in the description. Uh, the same is for this video. And uh, assuming you have GNS3 already installed and open, uh, what you want to do to get started is click on Edit in the top left corner of the screen and select Preferences. Under Chemu VMs, I'm just going to delete this one since uh, we'll be setting it up for this video. New type is ASA 8.4 and then name it whatever you want and then for the Chemu binary select the last option which should be 86 underscore 64 um, and then I have version 2.4 here. Uh, two of the files in that download link you'll need for right here um, the initial RAM disk Just simply navigate to wherever you've placed them, and for the RAM disk, you'll want to select init RD and select yes. And for the kernel image, you'll want to select the VM Linux one or Linus and yes. Uh, now, as far as the VM template for the the ASA firewall is concerned, that's it. So you can click finish. Now in order to get it working properly, you'll want to select edit. And then for hard disk drive, uh, you'll need to create a flash. So open command prompt as admin. And then what I suggest doing is open a file explorer and then navigate to your Kemu 2.4.0 uh, directory in the path. Copy address. And you're there. So what you want to do once you're in that directory is type Kemu image exe create flash and there you have it. So once you've uh, once you've done this, you'll go back into GNS3, click Browse, and then you'll want to navigate to that directory again. And here's the file you just created. For network six, and uh, in the third file I've included in the download link, uh, you'll want to change the kernel command line and the options. You should also deselect activate CPU throttling. So you can select the kernel command. and the options. And that's it. So uh, in order to actually fully configure it, you'll want to add it into the workspace. Click start and open a console. Now depending on uh, your computer's performance, this may take a while. Um, for me, I think it completes in around three to five minutes. So you just have to be patient with it and wait for it to finish. Once it's done, it will uh, bring you to the Cisco ASA uh, command prompt. And then from there, we'll enter in a activation key.
Okay, so now that we're at the Cisco ASA prompt, uh, you can scroll back up and see that the running activation key is not valid using default settings. So uh, I've provided an activation key and to enter that you'll want to enter enabled mode and since there's no password, enter. Now this activation key is also in that third file with the kernel command and the options so just select it and paste it into the prompt. And once you're back at the prompt, you'll want to reload the firewall. And again, this shouldn't take too long. And we're back at the Cisco ASA prompt. And you can scroll up and see running permanent activation key, and that's the one that we provided. And uh, there isn't a whole lot of differences between the default one and the one provided. However, um, it did change the failover VPN um, and security context. Um, it says any connect, a lot of the any connect settings are still disabled, so setting up any connect may or may not be possible. Um, I'll have to investigate that further, but as far as actually having the Cisco ASA set up on your GNS3, you should have it. So I hope this uh, video was helpful and you were able to get it set up properly, and thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.